Well, it's western areas of the UK which are being most affected by this storm. As you said, the Met Office has issued a yellow weather warning which covers Northern Ireland and much of the west coast of Britain, including here in Porthcawl, where we're expecting winds of around 40 miles an hour over the next few hours, which is moderate compared with some other places, particularly in Scotland, where a wind gust of nearly 100 miles an hour was recorded today in the Highlands. There are 33 flood warnings in place in Scotland currently. Rail services have been disrupted and P&O ferries had to cancel all sailings between Ken Ryan in Scotland and Larne in Northern Ireland earlier. And in Northern Ireland, it's had an impact. Very high winds there too. Roads closed, some roads closed due to fallen trees and flooding. As for air travel, it's now thought 140 flights have been cancelled at airports across the UK, including at Belfast City Airport, where Aer Lingus cancelled all of its flights. EasyJet did the same in and out of the Isle of Man. Andy, the Republic of Ireland is also experiencing some of the worst of Storm Kathleen. It's a major travel disruption there, and more than 30,000 homes, notably, without power. And if all of us have been feeling a little bit warmer today, then that's the southerly wind which this storm has brought in. There's nearly 21 degrees in Suffolk today, the hottest temperature of the year so far. It's a little bit cooler here in Porthcawl.